G'day guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're just out for another session of coastal foraging. And the spot we're in today is Jerusalem Bay. Uh, you would have seen this in a couple of my previous earlier videos uh, with the wild oysters. Um, and following the success from the last video with the wild oysters, I thought I'd come back for some more. But today I've got another recipe uh, in mind. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and forage for some oysters and uh, tell you what it's all about with the recipe. So right now it's a complete low tide and the tide's starting to change so it's coming back in. So it won't be long until this area is all filled with water. So I suppose better get move on. clump of oysters here. Okay so one thing I must stress about um, foraging, just check with the local regulations whether um, you're allowed to forage in that particular area. I have checked here on previous um, times that foraging here is permitted and also if you're concerned about uh, the water quality, I'm only doing this is because I know these, these oysters are safe but I'm going to be cooking these oysters. I personally probably wouldn't recommend this for everyone if um, you're not too familiar with coastal foraging. Just before you go ahead and do it, uh, do a bit of research. But um, I know that these oysters are safe to eat because I've done it on multiple occasions and I've done a bit of research myself. Um, not far from here is where they actually farm some of these oysters. So this waterway is um, perfectly um, clean and these oysters are edible. But what I'm going to be doing today is um, going to be collecting a few of these. I'm actually going to be processing them here, uh, just say it's bringing the shells at home and uh, we'll follow back home into the kitchen, knock up a lovely sensational oyster omelette. What are all of these? They're mangroves. They're roots? Yeah, mangrove roots. Oh, I thought there was just random spikes on the floor when I was young. Yeah, that clump's a nice one. Just be careful you don't cut your hands right, mate. Bring it in. You're pretty good ones. Crab! Yeah. Can crab? Yeah, you can, Baba. Uh, oh, yeah. It's hard. I'm like... Okay. So that should do us nicely. Maybe one more. Oh, the crab's a fun thing. I need another crab. We'll go, hey, we'll go get some soldier crabs too, Liam. Alright. Okay, so fighting through all this cicada noise, hopefully the audio will be alright. Um, this is our lovely haul of oysters. I, no, I also forgot to mention um, the limit of these is 50 per person per day. Uh, I've got Waiki and, and my son here, so between the, all of us we can actually gather 150, but um, as you can see here, I won't be taking that many. So what I'm going to do now is process these, um, as I mentioned earlier, just to make the trip home a lot lighter. And I'm going to be storing them in this jar. This is uh, just seawater, it's just like a brine, until we get home and cook them up. Lovely rock oyster there. Sensational there. Bring it in closer. Give you a close up demo on um, stacking as well. Stacking 101 with the food alchemist. 
you would have seen in a couple of my early videos with the seafood, uh, I've shacked oysters on multiple videos, but uh, there we go, that's lovely there. Look at the size of it, it's so plump and healthy. Let's just rinse it up here, a bit of seawater, and then straight into the jar. Back of sea water there. You see that lovely oyster there? Up on my face. Now these are probably perfect to eat raw, but I'm not going to take the risk, being that um they've been in the sun for quite some time. But I did mention that these going to be cooked, so they're perfectly safe to eat. So as for now, I'm going to continue processing these, and um, we'll check back in when we're back at my alfresco kitchen. Okay, so we're back to my uh, fresco kitchen now and uh, what a result it was. Man, that hike was such a long hike back too. So um, I'm losing daylight pretty quickly. So we just have to get on with it. Um, so just give you a quick look at the oysters that we had there. What I did with these oysters was basically, um, it was jarred in seawater earlier. So I gave them a rinse, um, set them in this colander just to uh, dry out a little bit. Uh, it's just I think there's a bit too much salt in there. So we don't want to be too salty. And um, as mentioned earlier, what we're going to be doing today is an omelette. So uh, I'm going to do a four egg omelette. The other ingredients there is just a bit of onions, spring onions, uh, and some chili, salt and pepper. So without further ado, let's start cooking. As you can see, I love cooking outside in my alfresco kitchen. Any mess that I have, just hose this area down later. Add some eggs in there. Let's give them a quick whip up. Okay. Alright, now I'll just add this the shallots as well. Get the shallots in there for a bit of colour and the chopped chili. Just get a close up on that. Okay. All right. All righty. Pan should be pretty hot now. So I'm just going to put roughly about a teaspoon, a tablespoon, sorry, of um, just some vegetable oil. And we'll let that heat up a little bit. Swirl that around. Okay. First to go in is um, the chopped onion. So this is just half of one brown onion. Sizzle away nicely. Just give that a swirl. And what we're going to do is just slightly caramelize this down the bottom because I don't want it to be too dark on this side. Uh, it's nothing like the smell of fried onions. Just go in there. My garden. Okay, so the onions starting to brown nicely. Next up, we'll just add the eggs in. And as you can see, it's got lovely flecks of green and red there from the chili and the shallots. And what I'm going to do is going to leave this slightly runny and we'll add the oysters in now too because we don't want to overcook the oysters. Let's give you another look at these the oysters. See how plump that is. Let's put a show on this. Shell up. And we just put the oysters in while the egg is still runny. Just layer it in there. Choose all those nice plump fat ones. Make it a nice greedy oyster pancake. So we'll put quite a few in there. 
after all it is the star of the show today. Okay, I can smell that browning so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And lastly, we just put the, head, the lid on. And with this omelette, I'm not going to be flipping it. So the idea of this is the oyster is going to be just slightly cooked. Um, the steam from the heat is going to cook through through the top. And that should take, I'd say, about a couple of minutes. We'll check in on it. Okay, so it's been about just under a minute now. Take the lid off, have a look. Oh, that can go for a little bit more. It's still a bit runny at the top. Might just give that for possibly another minute. I think right about now is when I'll add the salt and pepper as well. So just put a bit of salt in there. And a bit of pepper as well. Oh, the smell and the aroma that's coming off this is sensational, guys. Ellie, there was like smell of vision, you can smell it right now. It's wafting through beautifully. Okay, that's just about cooked too. I'm going to let that dry up a little bit. As you can see the oysters have changed colour as well. That means they're just cooked as well. And it's about ready. It's time to plate up. Just turn that heat off. I'll just slightly lift it up just to check on the colour on the, on the underside. Oh yeah, that's browned way nicely. Alrighty. And we're just going to serve it on this board here. It should slide off nicely. To the centre. There we go. Okay, so I'll finish it off with um, just a couple of wedges of lemon. A few sprigs of parsley. So there you have it. Sensational oyster omelette forage today. Let's see what it tastes like. I think I'll go for a bit of lemon on there. Squeeze a bit of lemon on. Go for a mouthful with a bit of omelette and oyster. Let's give you a close up there. Mm. Oh, that's sensational, guys. It's a good thing I rinsed out um, the oysters, the seawater off. It's it's still got that fresh oceany taste, just the right amount of salt in it as well. And um, the oysters are lovely, plump, rich and sweet. Let's have another, another mouthful, just to uh, confirm that taste. Mm. Oh. Whoa, that chili's hot. So once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and as I've demonstrated foraging for your own food isn't a difficult thing however you just need a little bit of know-how behind it like um, if you're unsure of certain things do a bit of research before you go out there and do it but as, uh, as I mentioned earlier I've been to this particular spot on numerous occasions and um, the, the shellfish that I've collected there have been fine just get out there and do it um, follow the limits once again too and um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and um, Mr. Mel, I'm going to kick back and enjoy this omelette. Probably knock up a few more too for the rest of the family because I've got a bit of oysters left. Until the next video, bye for now.